If you're a boxing fan of any sort, then you probably know the meaning of the term rope dope Now, if you don't know the meaning, then let me drop a quick line of the definition of what it means. It's basically a tactic of pretending to be trapped against the ropes, goading an opponent to throw tiring, ineffective punches. Now look, this comparison review between both the Pixel 6a and the Nothing Phone 1 is nowhere near as close and as brutal as a boxer match would be. But trust me on this, you will see a pattern when we go through this comparison review here that shows that one of these phones is actually performing a rope dope while lining up a serious hook to swing things in its favor. This mid-range battle here is a serious one. Let's see which one actually comes out on top. Hi. Ben from Lover of Tech. If you enjoy videos like this and you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you're part of Team TLS to Tech Lover Squad so you don't miss any future videos on the channel. Round one. Let's start things off with the design and the build quality. And as good as both these phones are, I've got to give it to the Nothing Phone One as it brings at this price point what is definitely some of the best and the most unique looks we've seen on a mid-range smartphone. From the unique and cool LED lights with the transparent back of the glyph interface, the use of Corner Gorilla Glass 5 on the front and the back in between a nice matte finish aluminium frame, the excellent button placement and the clicky feel, the fit and finish of the phone one is up there with some of the best. The Pixel 6a is still solid on its own and in fact, it has more weight to the feel of it which aids in a solid feel to the build quality as well. And on top of that, you do get a proper IP67 water and dust resistance rating compared to the IP53 of the Phone 1 and also more color options as well. It just low-key falls short by using older Corning Gorilla Glass 3 for the front glass and although still a very high quality polycarbonate material at the back, it doesn't match the premium feel of a good glass material found on the Phone 1. I love the compact nature and the design language and identity of the Pixel 6a as it fits right next to the Pixel 6 and Pixel 6 Pro, but subjectively, I've got to give this one to the Nothing Phone 1. Round two, the display, and this is another area the Nothing Phone 1 is seriously bringing the heat, taking a lot of the right boxes and taking it up a level, making the phone feel more than the money it's actually worth. Let me tackle the display experience on the Pixel 6a first and say that the 60 hertz refresh rate is not a deal breaker for what it is as much as I do prefer actually the compact size at this price range. The excellent haptic feedback, which I actually slightly feel is better than the Nothing Phone 1 in my personal opinion with great touch response, consistent frame pacing when scrolling and swiping, plus an overall brighter display compared to what's actually on the Nothing Phone 1. All that being said, the Phone 1's overall display experience is just on point, thanks to the smooth 120Hz OLED display, the all symmetrical borders, smaller hole punch selfie that hides away on the top left, good haptics with nice touch response, Using the display on the Nothing Film 1 day to day, you do notice and feel the difference compared to the Pixel 6a and it really does feel special. The in-display fingerprint scan experience on both have their general pros and cons. The Nothing Film 1, although more consistent and feels fewer times compared to that of the Pixel 6a, the position of it is lower than what I would like. The Pixel 6a, on the other hand, definitely feels more consistent out of box compared to the Pixel 6 when it came out back in October 2021 it is in a better position when you're actually unlocking it. And when you're actually unlocking both the Pixel 6a and the Nothing Phone 1 from the always on display, if you nail it right, the Pixel 6a is slightly faster to unlock, but that's if you nail it right. Consistency, the Nothing Phone 1, although it is quicker to unlock from the lock screen, which is good, as stated before, it's just more consistent. Round three, the performance, and here it's where it's split down the middle on both, and they actually trade punches heavy here, working on what they have best and covering up where they fall short to give you still a very consistent and solid performance here. As good as the Snapdragon 778G Plus is on the phone one, because it is on an older chip process at six nanometers, it doesn't come close to the overall performance at hand from the 5 nanometer tensor chip found in the Pixel 6a, which low key gives the Pixel 6a flagship killer status when it comes to the performance and it really shows. 
Where the Nothing Phone 1 actually counter punches is that it uses a high base RAM of 8GB compared to the 6GB on the Pixel 6a and there is a 12GB of RAM option available with even more storage at 256GB. With the multi-core performance also being so close on both phones, how well optimized the software UI is on both, the performance here is solid and you almost won't go wrong whichever one you choose to actually use on a day-to-day -day basis. I will say that the biggest concern I've had with the Pixel 6a is having the low-key overheating issue, in my case, which happened when I was actually using a camera, which did not happen on the Nothing Phone 1. And this was during my camera comparison, and the Nothing Phone 1 had no such issue. So definitely take with that what it is. Thermal management aside, Tensor is the truth. But overall, as a package with the specs and options, the Nothing Phone 1 it does really well. Round four, the camera. And remember, what I mentioned at the start in regards to the Ropadope, well, I think you've actually started to clock the sequence here and realize that in a lot of ways, this Nothing Phone 1 is from what looks like a lot of effective punches on the surface level, and it looks like it really does have this Pixel 6a on the ropes. To an extent, this is true and doesn't take away from the Pixel 6a, but when it comes to the overall camera experience, this is seriously where the tires change. I did two camera comparisons showcasing the performance of the camera between both of them, which I highly recommend you take your time and you really watch them in detail. But in quick summary, I'll tell you this right now. If the camera performance is at the top of your purchase decision, then the Pixel 6a is the only choice you even need to consider between both these devices. The difference in video quality for both the front facing camera and also the rear facing camera is huge from the colors, detail, dynamic range, and even as far as the video stabilization, the Pixel 6a is just in a different class to what the Nothing Phone 1 is bringing when it comes to the camera. And honestly, if you think the difference in the video performance is huge, then photos is even bigger because Google's color performance with real tone is top tier. The portrait mode performance quality is excellent. The dynamic range is a class above. And when you're actually using night mode, the difference still favors the Pixel 6a, even though the Nothing Phone 1 has much more up-to-date hardware. As this comparison is not done yet, it may not be a knockout blow for the Phone 1, but it definitely is a knockdown for the 10 count in favor of just how good the camera performance is on the Pixel 6a. Round five, and I promise you, the phone one made the 10 count and is back on his feet, ready to continue this fight with what is now the software experience on both these phones, which are actually a lot closer to the software experience to each other than you actually may think. Credit to the Nothing OS as it sticks very close to Google's experience of Android with no duplicate apps and a smooth and consistent experience across the board. Now you can still spot many few differences on the Nothing Phone One's OS, which adds nice little touches to its version of Android that have become so used to that just isn't there on the Pixel 6a. These are minor things, but a few examples are double tapping to lock the screen, unlocking your phone with the pin without actually pressing enter, the easy access to the quick settings toggles for things like Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and hotspot. And also the standout feature here has got to be the software control with the hardware interface of the LED lights with the Glyph interface. Now, backed with the fact that the perceived speeds of the Nothing OS is feeling nicer and faster thanks to the 120Hz display and optimizations, I've got to say this phone one feels a little bit more exciting without overdoing it like what some other Android OEMs do. That being said, with Tensor under the hood of the Pixel 6a and just how well optimized it is with the Pixel UI experience, the excellent voice to text features, even poorly optimized apps like Twitter for Android, which cripples most flagship Android phones and really does struggle on the Nothing Phone 1, runs buttery smooth on the Pixel 6a. Last round, round six, and the battery endurance here on both phones are a lot closer than I was actually expecting, but also thinking about it, I'm not surprised by it either. I will say that the overall battery experience, especially if we take into account the charging options and speeds, it does really favor the Nothing Phone 1 as it does have faster 33 watt charging, which basically charges twice as fast compared to the Pixel 6a. It does also have wireless charging at 15 watts and also reverse wireless charging with battery share, which are both lacking on the Pixel 6a. Standby time are actually great on both and probably slightly better on the Nothing Phone 1 after the latest update at the time of this recording. 
end, I would say that slightly better screen on time with the Pixel 6a, my personal experience. Ding, ding, ding. The scorecard to end and the comparison review battle was intense for sure. Now, considering the Nothing Phone 1 is technically their first generation device compared to Google, who are now on their fourth generation of their A series range, the Nothing Phone 1 really came in swinging. And in some situations, I actually think it really hit well and laid it in good. That being said, that knockdown in round four when it comes to the camera experience heavily favors the Pixel 6a so much of the fact that even with lesser features like a 60 hertz display, no wireless charging, less base RAM and slow wire charging in the grand scheme of things at this price point, getting the full tense experience with basically no compromise to the camera experience, my personal pick would be the Pixel 6a. That's it with this comparison review of both the Nothing Phone 1 and Pixel 6a. Which one would be your pick? Is it available where you are? Let me know in the comment section below. That's it for me, Ben from Lover of Tech. If you enjoy videos like this, you know exactly what to do. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you're part of Team TLS, the Tech Level Squad, so you don't miss any future videos on the channel. I hope you're all safe during this time. I will catch you in the next one. Peace.